What's going on guys? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Migos Code. In this video, I want to talk to you about my desk setup. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I think it was last year. And to be honest, lots have changed. And I just want to share with you my desk setup as a software engineer. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Also, literally, smash that like button so I can keep recording these videos. So, to kick off this video, let's start with the most important item which is my desk and this is not a normal desk this is a standing desk so flexisport actually reached out a while ago and uh, they've been you know sending me stuff since last year and um yeah so they decided to send me their brand new standing desk and to be honest this desk right here is beautiful so i was in between the um white top or um, i think it was yeah, mainly white top, but to be honest, I chose this kind of dark, um, I can't even, I don't even know what, what color is this, but it just looks amazing. Or actually, I think it's just a dark gray, but it looks really great in comparison to the white one that I had before. And I think all in all, the dark gray with white legs, it's a great combination. The desk is really good. You've got controls, so you can set whether you are standing or, or whether you are sitting, so you can actually program, and then you have like extra buttons um, to program, um, you know, different heights. So maybe uh, you wanna put your your chair under the desk. It's also possible. So I, I think uh, I've, I've configured with number one or number two, for example. So nighttime, um, when I'm done for the day, I've just pressed number two, and then it just goes up and then off I slide my desk. Hold on, did I say sliding my desk? Sorry, I meant to say sliding the chair. <laughs> so all in all, I'm quite happy. And um, this test just feels like modern. The quality is amazing and I definitely recommend it. So the next item is my chair. So this chair is also sent by Flexispot. And I have to be honest, so I had the Ehrman Miller and um, this chair right here, you know, you can't really compare with it. So I've actually been having some back pain I've been using it for a week or so, and I've asked them to send me a more premium chair, but I think maybe the headrest is kind of nice, but then like around here, so my back is actually, um, you know, having some trouble, to be honest. But, you know, all in all, you can see that the chair looks kind of good, um, and also for the price, it's not that expensive. Um, so, you know, I've, I've never had, um, you know, other chairs other than the actual Ehrman Miller and this one. So let me know, you know, what, what chairs you actually recommend. I was actually thinking for a gaming chair because they look kind of nice. Um, so if you know about a gaming chair, which is really good and you recommend, please do let me know. So desk and chair out of the way. The next thing is the monitor. Now it's very important for me to have a good monitor. So I've used these monitors, so these actually are the Dell, and I'll leave the, the actual model uh, under the description of this video. I think the, the price just went up because everybody was working from home, and these are really, really popular for tech companies. Now, the setup that I have is the one on my right. So this is actually my right when I'm coding, but here's my left. So the one on my right is on portrait because I like to see every single uh, line of code, right? So usually I don't have classes with, you know, 1000 lines and, and stuff like that. So if you, if you read about clean code, you know, a class should have a single responsibility. So I can actually fit the entire uh, file in, in, in the screen, right? So this is actually good because I don't have now to scroll. And also if you're using a landscape, then you kind of have some some wasted space because the, the, the code is usually aligned to the left. Um, you know, either you, you split the screen, which I'm, I'm not a big fan, or you have, you know, two monitors, as I do. Um, and this was actually a trend. So in my previous company, I think someone started with this trend and then basically everybody followed. Um, yeah, so I've got the portrait one, then I've got the landscape one. So that's 
mainly for if I'm doing, for example, some web development, uh, maybe I've got that's that's the main screen where I see all the changes with live reload. Um, but basically, um, also I think the terminal and whatnot, and I use a, a really nice extension that allows me to move these windows around and arrange windows. And I think it's called rectangle if I'm if I'm not mistaken. So I've got the portrait landscape. And then I've got the, the small monitor, which um, I, I, to be honest, sometimes I don't, I don't even use it because, you know, having too many screens can be a distraction. Um, but yeah, so, you know, let me know what you think about this setup, um, you know, having the, the portrait versus the landscape, if you like it or not. Next, I want to talk about this baby right here. And uh, hopefully the camera can zoom. If not, oops, there we go. So these are the LG... Uh, MX, I think it's MX Keys uh, or MX Master 3 basically. And I have to say like this mouse right here. So let me actually show you. So before I used to use these ones from Apple, um, this one here. So since I switched to this one here, I can tell you that it's like night and day, like this wins it all day, especially, you know, all the features that it has it, it, because I've got like big hands, like it, it just fits naturally. Um, and, you know, I can't really go back, to be honest. Right. So I de definitely recommend these. Um, I think gamers use these a lot. Um, I think, yeah, they're the most popular out there and I do recommend them as well as with um, uh, the, the keyboard, which I think it's uh, MX Keys. They've got two versions. They've got the, 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 longer, the longer one with, um, with the keypad, which I, I don't use it. So I'm, I'm actually thinking on switching to the smaller version. And I think that can save me some space on, on my desk. So let me know also what mouse and keyboard combinations that you guys use. But I think these from Logitech, they are amazing. Then moving on, my camera, um, I've been using the uh, Sony a7R for a couple of years now, and um, I've got two actually. So the one I'm recording is the a6500 or 6600. Uh, and then what I use uh, with my webcam, so I actually, you know, I need to have like the best quality when I'm having Zoom calls or talking to people. So I use, um, the cam link so basically this allows me or allows allows you to connect your um you know dslr or your your you know high-end quality camera to your pc so i think this also you know gamers use this quite a lot for streaming and not not so when you see like people with you know banging quality this is what they use so i highly recommend it if you want to improve the quality of your webcam video calls the next thing i want to talk to you is so i usually like to you know code at night so this is where you know there's no noise i can just concentrate pull my headphones so i usually use um airpods so i think this is the airpods 2 so i use these and uh, you know having you know these leds and whatnot it just makes a place feel uh, you know so nice and so comfy and uh, it's very ch cheap, so you can see. Uh, so I've got you know one behind my desk. I've got one up there, and I think that's a, a rainbow light which I've got. And then these are like I think uh, yeah these ones are um, I think they call it fairy lights. Um, again, these are really cheap stuff. Uh, I got I got them from Amazon, and um, you know just just having these can improve your working environment and. You know, it's just like, you can see like the background is just, it's just awesome, right? Then the last few things I want to talk to you is basically I use a stream deck. Um, again, this is like, I think it's mainly for gamers, but for me, it's just having like all these custom buttons where, for example, if I want to write a quick message over and over again, over and over again, I can just press on one, one button and off it goes. If I want to access some links, uh, Open IntelliJ, for example, or my favorite IDEs, I can just press one button, and there we go. Also, I've got um, uh, some some wireless char chargers. The same with my phone, uh, AirPods, and all in all, I've got a bunch of connectivity around. Even though, so you saw, um, actually, I didn't even even speak about it, but cable management is like wow. You know, actually, I should maybe do a separate video just on cable management, how I've managed to do it. But you can see, like, it's so clean. Like, it's just one cable 
and that's it, right? So especially with cable management, or actually especially with just one cable going through the socket, um, you know, behind it actually it's, it's a bit of a mess, but you can't really tell whether it's, it's a mess or not. Uh, but that's where everything is, is connected. And um, yeah, I think all in all, I'm quite happy with my desk and um, just just let me know whether um, you know you, you like it or not and um, you know what are the things I would like to see on my desk maybe it's anything that I've missed and uh, I think two years ago we've done a, a desk setup tour for the community let me know if you want to see another one of those uh, and then I can just reach out to you guys and um, you know get it get it done basically so if you enjoyed this video smash the like button also, don't forget to subscribe, join the community, and I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.